Guitar.com video series, Learn Piano for Free. Today we're going to be learning the song, We Three Kings. Let's take a look at the music. This song is in the key of E minor, which is <coughs> the key that has the same signature as the major key, G. So it just means that the F is going to be sharp. Every time we see an F in the song, like this one right here, we're going to play the black key to the right of the F note. Let's look at our chords. We have an E minor, a B7, G, D, A minor, D7, quite a few chords in the song, C, I think that's all the unique chords. This is song number 11 in book 2 of the Clear and Simple Chord Style Piano series, which is available at chordstylepiano.com. So let's take a look at some of these chords, just to review. It's been a while since we played a song in the key of, of G uh, or E minor. So let's look at the E minor chord. Just for reference, here's middle C. So down here, here's our E minor, E, G, B. Fifth finger, third finger, first finger. Here's our E minor chord. B7 starts with a D sharp, and there it's showing as a flat, uh, but it's the same key, be D sharp or E flat. And then an A and a B, and that looks very strange on my software. So ignore what's happening here, and look down here at the keyboard, D sharp, A, there we go. And the G chord, D, G, B. And the D is the fifth finger, the G is the second finger, and the thumb is the first finger. And we'll use that same fingering for the B7 chord as well. Pinky on the D sharp, first finger on the A, second finger on the A, first finger on the play guitar as well as piano and the fingers are a little bit different in guitar. Sometimes I get confused. Then we have a D chord, D, F sharp, A, A minor chord, E, A, C. Again, it looks weird on my software. Let's look at the keyboard down here. E, A, C. And then a D7, F sharp, C, D, there's our D7 chord, and of course C, C, E, G, and that's all the chords in the song, quite a few. Let's take a look at the right hand, we're going to be starting with our fifth finger on the B, it gets to stay there the whole first line, and then we're going to reach up a little bit with our second finger on a G. Every time we see another number, it means that we're moving our hand, either a little or a lot. Down here, this is a crossover. So the way we do the crossovers will be coming from, our thumb will be on the G note right here. So let me show you, you look down here where my hand is thumb is going to be right there. So I'm, I'm doing this downward passage and then I take my middle finger over the thumb like that. So let's play a basic version of We Three Kings.
us about halfway through the song. He has this thing called a fermata. It means just hold for as long as you choose to, make it reasonable. But that's where you can kind of pause, have a dramatic pause in the song, and then go on with the chorus. So let's play a little fancier version of We Three Kings. I'm going to use power chords. So on the E minor, E, B, E. right hand there, I just filled in as many notes as I could, and so I played different inversions of the chords, just to, to get a little fuller sound. So for the E minor here, you can actually play an E minor chord on the right hand and the left hand, and get six notes in there, like this. And the second time you play it, the G is the melody note. So you end up dropping the B note, but you still get five notes. So that's what we're doing there, just picking up some of those extra chord notes in the right hand. That's not very easy to do. It takes time and practice, but it is something that can come with effort. <laughs> 